Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Chibitronics for Paper Crafters, and I'll be showing you how to change up the look of your designs with our colored LED stickers. In the second half of this video, we will also show you a magical technique for lighting up your LEDs in sequence using a pressure sensor. We're continuing to use the same Firefly card design with different circuits and techniques so that you can see how to create totally unique interactions with the same design. So let's get started. If you missed the intro video in this series, you can find a link above or in the YouTube description below. To start, I used the template I created in the first video to trace the holes of my card panel onto an A2 panel of white cardstock. The base of this circuit template will look very similar to our template from the Add Multiple Lights Parallel Circuit video you can find in the link above. I center my craft stencil over each traced dot and trace the outline of the sticker. I make sure that the positive side of the traced outline is closest to the outer edge of my panel for each sticker, which means I rotate the stencil for my last sticker. In the corners of my A2 panel, I've already attached thin magnets that I will use to temporarily attach the circuit panel to my Firefly card front to show you how everything will look. If you were making this card, you'd likely use foam mounting tape to permanently adhere the card front over the circuit panel. Before I add my tape, I create my battery holder by cutting a piece of white cardstock to 3 quarters of an inch by 2 inches. I score and fold it at the halfway point. You can find a more detailed video about creating battery holders in the link above. I add adhesive to one side of the scored line and adhere the holder to my circuit panel so that the fold is on the right and it opens like a backwards book. I label my stencil outlines as a reminder that the positive is on the long edge and the negative is on the point of each sticker. Now it's time to add my conductive fabric tape, starting with the negative side. I start from the opposite end of the battery holder and then run the tape along the negative point of each traced outline, connecting the three points. When I reach the battery holder, I apply a little ATG adhesive to the inside of the holder and then run the tape over the adhesive. The ATG adhesive will help my battery stay inside the holder without interrupting my circuit. Then I repeat the process for the positive side, starting with the light's end and then running the tape down along the right side of the battery holder and then up over the top of the battery holder and over to the inside flap. Then I label those two tape ends so you can see how to place your battery. For the first videos in this series, we've been using our original white LED stickers, but today I'm changing things up with our gorgeous colored LED stickers. They function the same as our white stickers, but really glow in beautiful shades of red, yellow, blue, pink, orange, and green. These colored lights are available in our light sampler pack, which also includes white lights, or in our tropical mega pack, which includes pink, orange, and green LED stickers, or our color mega pack, which includes red, yellow, and blue LED stickers. Each of these packs contain 30 LED stickers. Our Craft with Light color kit is a great way to try out our color LED stickers, as it has one of each color, two coin batteries, and enough conductive fabric tape for several projects. I add my lights, making sure the negative point of the sticker rests on the negative line of the tape, and the positive edge of the sticker rests on the positive line of the tape. I also place our conductive fabric patches over the positive and negative parts of each sticker to reinforce them and make sure they won't shift at all. When you place the battery inside the holder and press down, the LED stickers light up. For this sample, I'm using green, blue, and pink LED stickers. Next, I add foam mounting tape around my battery, but do not remove the adhesive backing from the top. This just creates a simple on and off switch by preventing the circuit from completing unless you press down, which conserves the battery for mailing. You can find a more detailed video on simple on-off switches in the link above. As I've shown before, I add my Firefly panel using magnets, because this is a template I'll be using over and over again. If you were adhering this to a card base, you'd adhere the circuit panel to your card base with a layer of foam mounting tape. And here's a look at the card with those colorful fireflies. Off camera, I created a second circuit panel using our red, orange, and yellow LED stickers, and you can see how those look with the fireflies as well. 
And here are all our colored lights together. There are lots of beautiful designs you can create using different colored LED stickers. If you watched our video last month, and if you didn't, I'll link it above, you learned how to use our pressure sensitive plastic to create a simple pressure sensor. When you place a piece of the plastic between the battery and your conductive tape, it creates a pressure sensor. As you can see here, the harder you press, the brighter the light shines, which creates an interesting fade effect. But today I'm going to show you another really fun way to use this material paired with our colored lights. In a normal parallel circuit, when you complete the circuit, all the lights will turn on at once. But when you use the pressure sensitive plastic with colored lights, the lights will come on in the order of the amount of voltage they require. Red, orange, and yellow LEDs require less voltage so they will light up with even a little pressure on the plastic. Green, blue, and pink LEDs require more voltage so as you press harder on the plastic they light up. White requires the most voltage so they are the last color to light up as you press on the plastic. In the first example I'm showing you the order in which they will light up as you press on the plastic. But you can place the LED stickers in any order you like, and if you're using pressure sensitive plastic, they will light up in the order of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, and white, as you can see in the example below. This allows you to create a colorful sequencing effect with the pressure sensitive plastic. You can create some really unique designs and colorful sequences by using the pressure sensitive plastic with the colored LED stickers. I created another circuit this time using a red, green, and white LED sticker. When I add the pressure sensitive plastic, the stickers light up in the order red, green, and finally white. When I place my firefly panel over the top with my magnets, you can see how the fireflies appear to twinkle. Here's another look at that effect with my desk lights off. and a closer look at the full color range using the pressure sensitive plastic. And here are a few more examples from our design team using our colored LED stickers. And finally, we have one more example from our designer Yukiko showing how she used the pressure sensitive plastic to get the colorful sequence effect in her card. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibitronics for Paper Crafter series and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, have an amazing day, and happy crafting. Bye!